What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This is going to be my weekly Saturday Spotlight video for you guys for today. Today we're going to be doing a Ezekiel character spotlight video. So, uh, this one, I have to admit, this one when I got this suggestion, I was like, wow. Uh, this is a character that I, I really should have a character spotlight for already. So, I was like, okay, let's do this one for this week. You guys can write your comments below, as usual, what is the character spotlight you want to see next week. The first one who asks is the first one I pick so be quick and uh, you know whichever whichever one is uh, the first I will pick that person and do a character spotlight video on that character so uh, you have to you know comment quick if you do want to see a character spotlight video for next week so um Let's get right into it. So, uh, Ezekiel. So, I mean, you know, I love Ezekiel. I think he's one of the best characters. One of the best, you know, characters that was introduced around Season 7. Uh, maybe the best character that was in uh, introduced in Season 7, you could say. Uh, here is his 7-inch seven uh, uh, action figure. Uh, he's got the uh, the cane, and he's also got, uh, you know, the sword inside, of course, and stuff. And um, I also have the Funko Pop of him over there. So, Really, really cool stuff. Really like the uh, the action figure for Ezekiel as well. But um, I wanted to do this one too because yeah, like I did Jerry. I did the Jerry one. Uh, you know, about a month or two months ago. So you know, it kind of makes sense why I would do Ezekiel next. So he's a character that's gone through quite a bit in the show. I mean, he lost his entire army in season eight. That was one of the biggest things for him. And I will say season eight, episode four is probably his biggest episode so far. So uh, again, spoiler warning if you're not caught up on The Walking Dead, because we're going to talk about his journey from season seven, episode two to season nine, episode eight. So was, was he even in the mid-season finale? I, I don't even think he was, but whatever. Um, Either way, we're going to talk about it all the way up to uh, to that point. So, of course, we get introduced to his character. We get introduced to the kingdom in the well uh, in Season 7, which by itself, that episode wasn't really that great. But I did enjoy uh, seeing Ezekiel, seeing the tiger. We get to see uh, Jerry, Richard, Daniel, uh, and other characters from the kingdom. And basically, we get to see that he's made a deal with the saviors, unlike any other communities, where, uh, you know, in exchange for food and supplies, they won't step foot inside their walls. So... I like that approach because we get to see kind of in this episode, um, you know, what happened to Ezekiel and why, well, you know, you know how we got the tiger. He kind of explained a little bit of that to uh, to Carol, how he used to be a zookeeper and all that kind of stuff, and how um, I love I love when she, um, you know, when, when she, uh, you know, tells Ezekiel or whatever, she's like, uh, this this place is not real, you know, this this place. You're telling people the, uh, you know, a fairy tale or whatever, right? So she's just not having it at all. So um, we get to see basically Ezekiel. Uh, talk with Carol and kind of have some kind of a you know a bond with her you could say and uh, I like how at the end of the episode he uh, you know he uh, comes with a she and he's like you really got to try one of these you know so um yeah, we get to kind of see the beginning of them two. We get to see Ezekiel in episode uh, nine, which we do go quite a bit of uh, time without him after his introduction episode. So we get to see him again when Rick and the others uh, arrive at the kingdom. Uh, Jesus, you know, <laughs> uh, and he's just like, uh, you know, um, what, what what does he say? It's uh, it's it, it pleases me to see you, uh, uh, you know, at the kingdom, my friend. And then Ezekiel uh, or Jerry's just like, it pleases him indeed. And he's like, Jerry, you know, um, which that's that's one of his big lines, Jerry. You know, um, yeah, that's that's one of his famous things that he always says, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. You know, so uh, cool stuff. Yeah, really like that. But um, of course, he says no at first, uh, which I did like when he's like, I shall deliver my decree in the mole, you know, and Rick's just like, you know, kind of he trying to convince him to fight. But when Rick sees all the numbers, of course, he's going to ask him to fight. But you know, I like how Ezekiel, I, I did like how he said no to the others because it, you know, you could look at it from his perspective and it's like, he would not want to lose what he has. He has, you know, fought so much, you can tell just to get what he, what he's gotten in the last year and a half, you know, uh, to get the kingdom, to get all these people, to, you know, he's not going to just send them into, you know, a battle when he doesn't need to. And, you know, I like how Rick's just like, um, this is different. He's like, no, it, it's not, you know, um, you know, so I like how Ezekiel's just like, you know, the, the, the peace that we have with the saviors, it is uneasy, but it is peace and I have to hold on to it. So, um, you know, I do like how in episode 13, Benjamin's death and what happens with Morgan and Richard is what pushes him to fight. Now, you could say that was a mistake because it's like he helps them fight. Yeah. And, you know, he does do a good job and he saves them in Alexandria. You know, Alexandria will not fall, not on this day, you know, but it's like, you know, 
when you think about it, it's like when he helps them in the season seven finale and he helps them in season eight and they go to war. It's like then there's the episode where they attack the outpost and they just look, he just loses his entire army pretty much, except for, uh, you know, Carol and Jerry. So that's really sad. And I hated how that guy kind of captured him and made him realize that there are no kings and he really is just some guy, you know, um, some guy that just lost his entire army, some guy that doesn't have a purpose anymore, is what he views himself after that. So, I really like kind of how they handled Ezekiel in that episode, when he lost his army, and how he doesn't really feel like he needs to be a king anymore. So, having him, um, you know, realize he's going to be a king again, really comes in the mid-season finale of season 8, when he saves his group, you know? He gets them to go on the bus, distract uh, Gavin and the others, and then Gavin does capture him. But you know what? He's like, you know what? I got my people to safety. So you know what? If you want to kill me now, Gavin, go ahead, because my people are gone. My people are at safety. And, you know, whatever you do to me now, I don't really care. So, he hits him in the head with a rock, and then he gets captured, of course, and, uh, you know, Gavin's group gets annihilated, and so does Gavin by uh, Henry. So then, uh, you know, Ezekiel and the others, of course, Ezekiel, Morgan, and Carol go to the hilltop, and Ezekiel kind of, at this point, gets uh, his mojo back, you know, he gets uh, uh, the long coat back again, and, uh, you know, he kind of, you know, I feel like around the end of season eight, kind of um, comes back, you know, he's a king again, and, you know, even though he did lose a lot of his army, there are still still people that believe in him and there are still people that make him feel real like Carol so you know you can understand why he feels for Carol and he kind of likes her type of deal so then of course we have the time skip after all out war and uh, you know we have the beginning of him and Carol and their relationship he's asking you know he's like you know huh you know he has the ring and he's like she's like put that thing away but then they finally agree to get married and throughout the six year time skip uh, after Rick you know they do get married and she's considered like the queen of the kingdom he's considered the king of the king it's really cool um and I like when, uh, you know, uh, Jerry comes up or whatever in the time skip or whatever in episode six and uh, he's just like, he says something to Carol and she says, you know, she's like, Jerry, you know, because she can now. She's like the queen and uh, Ezekiel's the king. So they both can be like, Jerry. I don't know why I love that. I think that's so cool. Um, you know, because I don't know, it's, just, it's one of his things, you know. There should seriously be a shirt of Ezekiel that says Jerry, you know. Um, I love it. So, uh, you know, it pleases him indeed, Jerry, you know, um, love it. So we have that of course and then um that's like am i am i missing something here because i think we see them at the kingdom we see that they got married and then like that's it for ezekiel i don't think we saw much of anything else um so you know i'm really excited to see what they do with his character coming up soon but of course he could be one of those heads on the uh the spikes so you know we might have to watch out for ezekiel this half i'm pretty worried about him but um we're gonna have to see hopefully he does survive till season 10 because i would love to see more of ezekiel and he is a, a fan favorite at this point so uh, write your comments below. What do you think about Ezekiel's character in the series and just overall, um, you know, do you view him as, uh, you know, one of the best characters that showed up in season seven? Because he did help out season seven a lot. Season seven was a weak season, but every time he was in the show, it's like, oh man, Ezekiel's here. I love it. So cool stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this character spotlight. Write in the comments section below what character spotlight do you want to see next? And, uh, you know, season seven recap coming tomorrow, even though it's not one of the best seasons, I will still do it because it is part of our, you know, um, you know, weekly routine leading up to the return of The Walking Dead Season 9. So tomorrow, Season 7 recap, get ready for it. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.